Hey guys, how to in here and uh, today I'm here to show you guys how to get a uh, root on your Android device and how to load up size about 10.1 once you have root on your Android device. So to get root on your Android device, basically you just want to Google how to root my Android device, like the device name, so for me it's the SGS3 and look what pops up, a result on how to root and restore your Galaxy S3. So if you click on that, we can see, hey it's me. I did uh, one of the first routes for the Galaxy S3, so there's different tutorials and whatnot. And once you do that, once you have root and everything, uh, just read the op, and it will show you normally for your device what to do. Just make sure you clearly read it and read it more than once, so you understand what you're doing and you do not mess up your device, because frankly, messing up your device kind of sucks. So once you have uh, followed the root instructions, you pretty much want Clockwork Mod. And uh, Clockwork Mod is pretty easy to get because it's required to install Cyanogen Mod or any other custom ROM. Just go to the Cyanogen Mod website, as you guys can see, uh, cyanogenmod.com. It changes to .org now, actually. And just go to the devices, and then you go down to select your device. Mine is like way down at the bottom, the ATT Galaxy S3. So you click that, and you click uh, Install Guide, and it will tell you exactly how to uh, install a custom recovery or clockwork mod by Kush, which is one of the um, developers inside the mod. So uh, just follow those instructions, guys. They're not too hard. Just make sure you read carefully. And then once you do that, you want to install Cyanide Mod from the recovery. And uh, to do that, you download. Uh, you just got to follow those instructions on how to download. So you download the release and then you put it on your internal or external SD card. Uh, I already have that release, so I'm not going to be downloading it. It's already on my phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel here. But um, it's pretty simple to do, guys, and it's going to be pretty slow since I'm torrenting. So uh, what you guys do then is just go to your device. All right, guys. So after you have Clockwork Mod installed inside your mod, downloaded and pushed to your internal or external SD card, wherever you put it, uh, there's proper etiquette to flashing inside your mod, which you must always follow. First, you must back up your stuff. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've heard of people messing something up and having no backup to go to. So, I back up to external SD card, but I'm not going to select that right now, because I just did and I don't want to start that all over again. It actually takes a while, so you have to let it do that. And once you have your backup created, uh, you will be good to go, and you'll be ensured that if anything goes wrong, you can boot into Clockwork Mod, and you'll have a backup saved. I normally do mine on the external Z card because if something goes completely wrong, like the whole uh, partitions get erased or something, for some reason, Clockwork Mod's gone, I could go into download mode, set this to, uh, to be back at uh, factory reset with everything gone, and have my external SD card so I can pop it in and restore that in Android. So, once you do that, there's proper uh, etiquette to flashing side your mod, which you guys should all be aware of. And the first thing is that you gotta wipe your stuff. So basically, you're going to delete all your apps, everything you have on the phone, except for the internal SD card and external. That's not required. If you want to do that, fine by you, but I wouldn't recommend it. So basically, what you gotta do is you gotta click wipe data factory reset, and then yes, delete all user data. I know that sucks, guys, but there's apps on the market such as Titanium Backup, which I suggest you use to back up your apps. However, never restore apps with system data because that will mess things up. So you only need to wipe data once. There's no need to do it like four or five times. Like some people do that. And if you're like super paranoid, you can format the system also uh, if you want to do that. So once you do that, you have a completely clean slate so nothing can mess up the install uh, unless something goes wrong in like scripts or something or the build is bad. But this normally guarantees that you won't have any FCs or anything like that. So no force closes or anything. So you want to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. If you are already on 4.2 as I already am, you'll get this new folder structure for multi-user. Uh, don't worry about that, just let it be. So you go to zero and then you go to uh, wherever you saved your side of downloads. So mine is in downloads and as you guys can see here, I have uh, several versions of the nightly and several kernels, so I'm just going to install last night's nightly, so the uh, 9th of February, so just click yes there, and you just got to let it do its thing for a couple of minutes. 
All right, as you guys can see there, finished installing. So, uh, basically, what you do now is you go back and you flash the G apps. So, uh, Google apps are basically all the standard Gmail and stuff like that. You should always carry that around. I have a version here. So, you install the Google apps for Android 4.2.1, as you guys can see I'm using there. And uh, you gotta let that finish, and you should have everything to stock the Edge Mod awesomeness. And I also flash things such as uh, kernels, but if you don't know what you're doing, please don't do that. I have a zip for the emoji keyboard that I also use. Uh, if you guys want me to post that, just uh, PM me or something, and uh, I will post that for you guys if you guys are interested in that. Or you could Google search it, because there's plenty going around. Uh, so after that, you just reboot the system. And it will boot up in the normal size and mod, guys. Side mod kind of takes that to a whole new level. It's so much more customizable. So let's skip everything here. Uh, no, not now. So just skip everything. As you guys can see here, I'm on 4G. Uh, next, next, next. Okay, so we'll let that finish here. And uh, this is side to mod for you guys. Uh, as you guys can see, it looks just like normal, normal uh, AOSP. Uh, so let's start with something different here, the quick panels. As you guys can see, when you tap them, they do not take you to the side, uh, to the settings as normal Google does. They work like as if you were just clicking a toggle. So that's something very handy. As you guys can see, uh, Side Mod is very smooth. It comes with uh, its own custom launcher with uh, different transitions and whatnot. So I'll be showing you guys some of the customizations that are available in Side Mod 10.1 right now. So let's go to the system settings. Uh, as you guys can see, there's launcher. But uh, launchers are pretty common to get. You know, you can just download Apex or something off the Play Store. So we're not going to go into that. Uh, the lock screen words. Where is where it starts to get interesting. You can select a wallpaper. Uh, you could have the battery status showing. So I always keep mine on, uh, always on. Uh, and side mod, as you guys can see here, comes with a uh, cool setting. So like you can remove this, and side mod has their own widget called C Lock, which works a lot better. You can get a lot of other stuff onto it, and you get slider shortcuts. So let's set a shortcut here. Let's set an application. Let's set the camera, and let's set the system icons because those look so much nicer. So, camera. Okay, and then click save. Now check out our lock screen. We have this option, and of course you could always, you know, make more. But since I'm going to show you guys quickly what these things do, uh, you could also have long press actions for back and whatnot. So as you guys can see, Sajamod right off the bat is very worthwhile. Uh, just that alone would make it worthwhile to me. You can install themes, which are much more integrated than just launcher themes. And in the system, you get status bar options. You can show, hide the clock, AM, PM style. You get to change the battery icon, which I think is very awesome. You get uh, brightness control. So if you don't like doing this and setting the auto brightness, because I don't use auto brightness, uh, you could just select uh, brightness control which is pretty awesome. It's when you drag the status bar like old TouchWiz, uh, it changes the screen brightness. So as you guys can see here, uh, that's pretty awesome. You can get the notification count. Uh, you also get quick panel settings. You could uh, do things such as pull it to the left and it'll show the quick panel. So this is normal. When you pull down on the left, it's a quick panel. Uh, you can turn that off. You could select tiles and layouts. As you guys can see, they've added so much here they've added torch so if i were to use torch right now as you guys can see there's a torch uh there's so many options aside in my guys this is why i recommend it to anyone who has an android device if you can get it and you like aosp and how the nexus feels side mods definitely the best option you guys got you can get uh select what dynamic clocks you want so if i don't want usb tether or wi-fi display as you guys can see it's gone uh you can select stuff with the battery light you can get custom power menus, so if I want screenshot on there. You can get profiles, you can customize the clock widget, 
which they have. So let's allow weather. Uh, let's allow whatever else there is in there. So as you guys can see, we now get weather. So tap to refresh. This. I'm not connected to any network right now. So it's not going to refresh that. As you guys can see, guys, Clockwork Mod is awesome. Uh, something else with Clockwork Mod, you could uh, remap your hardware key. So let's enable custom options. So let's make my menu key go to the recent app switcher. There you go, guys. Isn't that pretty awesome? That is something you can definitely not do on TouchWiz. And as you guys can see, I can enable the show action overview. So it will uh, show up when apps are restarted, which is the three buttons for menu. And there's also hidden settings in the display. So if I want to rotate my device to more than the stop degrees, there's volume, rocker, wake up. There's hidden options in the sound too. You get things such as uh, skip, uh, skip on when your phone's off and you're playing music and you long press the volume. It will skip tracks, which is really awesome. It's the handiest feature that anybody's ever come up with, I honestly think. I use it so much. And you get the volume panel expandable options. You get all this, guys. So this is just a quick video showing you guys some of the side mod features. Clearly not all of them, as I didn't go through profiles or anything else that they've added. There's um, so much to cover, guys. And this is just a quick video showing you guys why you should get side mod. So until next time, guys. Uh, talk to you guys later. Subscribe, like this video. Kapow!